Okay, so uh, Firewatch is a game I got on Steam sale a while ago. Been dying to play it. Um, my wife is begging me to play it. Uh, it looks really cool. I've been wanting to play it for a while, so I thought uh, it's fairly short, so I'll stream it. Um, probably an hour and a half, two hours today. Uh, all I've heard is good things about it, but I don't actually know much about the game, apart from it's going to be really good. Uh, so I'm going in completely blind. Um, so let's let's fire it up and see what's happening. Uh, I'm on a bit of a like mystery adventure game kind of kick at the minute. Uh, taking a break from playing every single Blizzard game, which seems to take up most of my time. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Everything should be set in the 70s or 80s. Way better than now. You see Julia. Okay. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. I'm guessing that's Colorado University or something. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Alright, let's, let's go chat her up. You're drunk. <laughs> Uh yeah, let's let's try. Let's try to do this. You slur the word major and it smells like coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Oh, so I must be steaming drunk. Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Word shout your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. Who splits a cheeseburger? Like Ah. One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. That went better than it usually goes. <laughs> oh shit, okay, so we're playing now. We're in a lift. Oh, there's my arms. Alright, let's uh, pick up this backpack. Alright, parking garage. Okay, let's load our gear. Huh. Yeah. You date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains, you two drink beers out on the deck. You drink ju beer just about anywhere. Life is good. I'm finding this game highly relatable at the minute. Julia wants to get up. Fuck yeah. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia walking this dog. It's badass. Uh, I'm going for the German Shepherd because I like big dogs. Ma'am's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to school, too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and a pet, all rolled into one. Nineteen seventy nine you talk out on the deck, it's summer, nine thirty PM and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? she asked. Fuck no. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some a couple little idiots. One day, why rush? She looks away out towards the mountain. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay. Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. That's that's a really lazy proposal. I think I would have got my shit pushed in if I said... <laughs> did proposed lying in bed. Alright, back in the game now. 
guess we're driven up to the mountains. What we got going on here? Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. It's not recommended for inexperienced hikers. There's bears about. Cool. What's this thing? Nineteen eighty. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you, worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Give her the silent treatment. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> like one of your French girls. Yes, let's, let's do that. Like a Victoria's Secret model. Very nice. Still very pretty. I'm not quite sure where we're going, but two forks fire lookout. Eight more miles still. Fuck no. Jesus, this guy's about as athletic as I am. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. What a prick. Mayhem runs away. May me move, fuck the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Yeah, we're gonna kick his ass. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. Pfft, pussy. From then on, you walk by the river. Nineteen eighty-four plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. Fuck. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Um, oh, that's hard. I don't know how all these choices plan out. Um, so I'm not probably just going to get, like, if there's multiple endings, I'll probably get the worst one, like, where everyone dies. Hopefully the dog doesn't die, because then, then I'll be happy. As long as nothing happens to me, uh, let's agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask if her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. Yeah, I think maybe she should talk to someone about that. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. Fuck. <laughs> you both decide to keep it a secret for now. It's getting pretty heavy. Okay, so I got like a little... My little campsite here. Pick up my journal. <laughs> I am so pretty, yes. 
Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives a car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. So this is 1987, so this is like... Where well, you start? 1975? So time is moving swiftly on. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children are little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into panic believing her dad is at the door. This is getting very harsh. <laughs> you tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Nineteen eighty eight. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with twenty four hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. I think moving your wife into like a care home is <laughs> probably a shitty thing to do. We are determined to take care of her by ourselves. Alright, continuing our little trek. Nope, oh, hello Mr. Deer. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. <laughs> you put a chair in front of the bedroom, oh, fucking hell. Uh, we trust that she sleeps like a rock, we're not imprisoning her with the fucking chair. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. <laughs> 1989. One night you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. Uh, well, point one oh. I, I don't know if that's high or not. Uh, so in the UK, if you've had one, you're you're done. So, <laughs> not a good situation. You consider trying to hide, but you tell your sister-in-law. Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue, you say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. So it sounds like I'm stuck on my own now as a fucking <laughs> functioning alcoholic, so uh what kind of job have I got? Into the lookout tower. Is this, this me? Am I like a park ranger now? Be a pretty sweet job actually. Oh, there's a little little port party down there. This thing looks like a piece of shit. 
turn on the power. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hold left shift to activate radio. Right, let's talk to them. Let's go that one. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. Fuck! You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, <laughs> who wouldn't want a 28 year old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me, I'm going now. <laughs> just a second, now it's my turn. Okay, good night, bye. Pretty good reason for uh, moving out into the woods. <laughs> oh, I'm actually writing a fucking novel. See me at my desk. All right. Just talking already. So it looked like there was a little timer bar, so I don't have a lot of time to select these options. Kind of like Telltale games. the map table. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, Fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! They've got language, lady. <laughs> Oh, I was about to say, which... Uh... I need you to confirm, do you see them? This is where everyone on stream realizes I don't know how to use a compass. So... If that's... Yeah, if that's pointing north to right... Yeah, I'm looking the right way. I don't see fireworks. Oh, let's see. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, oh shit, there they are. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. <laughs>
secure. Shut up. I see they uh, they follow <laughs> the same password ideas that most IT people do. I'll just make them all the fucking same. Glass cleaner. Old Scottish oil soap. <laughs> all right, what we got? The singular mind. Whatever. Okay, so we got a radio, I guess. Do we, do we want a backpack? Maybe, maybe not. All right. Oh, okay, just grabbing the backpack. Well, let's mosey on down. Uh, I suppose I can't just follow the fireworks. So I want to go w west. Okay. M to read map. Jonesy Lake. Guessing that's the lake she's talking about. Um, so I wonder how all this ties into uh, my life with Julia, who is now in uh, Australia. Yeah, it was Australia. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Let's go sort out these kids with their fireworks first. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. Ooh, what's that? Is this, is this the cash thing? I need three oh six. That's the one. Taking everything. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's copy some information from the map. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you like. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Okay. Take the old rope. People just stuff these things with old food. That's how you get bear. Is it bear proof? Like nothing is bear proof. Let's eat the granola bar. Okay. Anyway. Oh fuck, I already lost the where was the trail? Let's look over this way. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's blocked. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm -hmm. Screwed until you clear yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Okay, well, let's get around it, I guess. So we're still heading off to find out who is setting off fireworks. Do I want to go? See, that's not really west. I'll stick to the path. I'll stick to the path. We got a job to do. Oh, I can jog. Okay, this will be a lot quicker.
vista is incredible. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of well, everything. You should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. That must be an awesome joke. Oh yeah, jogging, jogging, jogging. Oh shit, that means bears. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Yeah, I would, uh, I'd say that's pretty disconcerting. Even though bears are, like, dead cute and fluffy. Fuck you up. Alright. Ah. So this is where we needed the rope for. To get down this uh, shale. Shale slide. It's steep. Oh! <laughs> God! I suck at this. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Be careful for Christ's sake. Fuck me, it's not like they hired like someone who's a professional at this shit, just some alcoholic. What do they expect? Let's get that compass out again. We're going the right way. Oh, here's another little old climbing gear. Hey, hey there's a tie off point out here just a little way from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. Alright. It's a long summer, but you can explore later. Fair enough. I kind of want to explore, but I also don't want to, like, fuck about for three hours on stream doing nothing. So I'll try, try, uh... It is a hell of a nice camping spot down there, by the way. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, emerald technicians. Uh, maybe keep heading west toward the lake. <laughs> oh, there's a fire there. That looks like someone's little campsite or something. What's this? <gasps> Beer cans. I think we're on the trail now. A bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. <laughs> what? You don't like a cold muscle light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. <laughs> up all these beer cans. 
I don't know if I get anything good for cleaning them up or if it makes any difference but it's my job that's what we're out here doing all right Yeah, this looks like the source of the fireworks. We left half a bottle of whiskey, decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh shit, Ferret are Irish. Huh, save for later. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. Yeah, looks like they left their backpacks here. They left the packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Claim. See. Ugh, more beer cans. Let's clean this shit up. We found the fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. All right, let's go find these. Fucking skinny dippers. Oh, I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Panties. Why? Because you're 12? Panties. <laughs> That's how I got gonorrhea. And oh, another bra. Another pair of panties. Best day ever. Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Do my job. Fuck you!
Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Oh, you can't go up to them. Alright. It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Okay. I'll get back to a little look at thing. Oh, you know what fuck that I'm taking the boom box. Who's laughing now? I got the boombox. This probably attracts bears and I'm gonna get fucked up now. I'm, I'm totally picking the harder route here, I think. Alright, let's get rid of this boombox, fuck you. a bit uh the hills have eyes here hey uh, I can see my tower how do I get back if it's the one I think it is there should be an old trail the forest service closed off a couple years back and I'm sure the reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety right oh it washed out and became a fucking death trap <laughs> so you know be careful yay It's not there a minute ago, is it? Maybe I should use the map. Uh, I'm there. Two folks look out. Okay, so it's a... Well, there's cache 303 all the way over there. Maybe I should look to that. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's, let's jog. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad. Right, because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice. <laughs> well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning 
seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. Uh. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? A bear. I bet it was a bear. Oh, <laughs> damn! I got duck. Uh, I've gone too far, I think. <laughs> Alright, well, let's open this cache. Copy that information. Ooh, a flashlight. Guess it's a dingus. Is it a horn or antler or whatever? Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Let's put that back there. So, folks, I, I was meant to turn right up this trail somewhere. Oh no, I wasn't. I'm gonna have to go through the cave. Okay, so I'm going the right way anyway. Pro with this. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Damn right! This is America. Caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! No! This cave is gated off. It's to stop Spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your candy kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. <laughs> Alright, so we can't go through there. Jogging, jogging, jogging. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Oh, he's gone. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? Until they fucking murder you and like eat your corpse. Oh, okay, wait, let's <laughs> hold on. Oh no, okay, so I'm going the right way. That is cool. Uh, looks like I can go two ways. Let's go up this way, because this is where the uh, creepy guy was.
climb up these rocks. I think we're almost back now. We gotta be pretty close. Oh, storm coming in. Yeah, yeah, so we're getting pretty close back to our, our little watchtower now. Be good, because we don't want to get struck by lightning. Well, I'm sure something horrific is going to happen in a minute. Oh! <laughs> uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. That's a fucking lie. I didn't do nothing. Ah, my fortress of solitude, and my jack shack. Ooh, what didn't say? I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my thirties keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. My little jack shack. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, during the going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Disgusting. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? I could never. Mm. Oh, the sexual tension between these two is palpable. Oh, broken pipe. Sits down. Okay. Anyway, let's get back in our little watchtower. Oh, wait, wait. My fucking typewriter. Side of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, yeah, just get inside so whoever did this can fucking murder me. Sorry, right, you can get a typewriter to the face. Did you just Someone throw it out the window? They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window? Motherfucker. Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. <laughs> well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We'll get much.
much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache. I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun... <laughs> Oh, okay. Day two. So. Wake up. Hey, wake up. So. Oh shit, what did I hit there? I keep hitting the wrong buttons. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But Hank's rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, alright. I don't know why I'm, why I'm picking this stuff up. Manly thermos. Cool. Oh shit. Like, I have no idea how this thing works. You think they would teach you that, like, how to use the fire finder? Alright, fuck it. Let's go. North of Thunder Canyon. <laughs> Bear Tooth Point. Oh, fuck me. Alright, so. We go back down. Medicine wheel. More caches. Alright, so we. Oh. Telephone. Oh, uh, so I think that's. That's that's the phone line there, I guess. Uh, communication lines. All right. Hopefully, day two will not suck as much as day one did. I mean, really, when you're scraping the bottom of the barrel and uh, you know hiring people like this, what what do they expect they're gonna get? Where the fuck am I going? No, I'm, I'm going the wrong way, so I want to go sort of north-ish. So, the complete opposite direction I was heading in. Good job. I would die out here, in real life. Hey, yeah, we walked past the porter. Porter pie. The crap shack. The old shit house. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. This guy's gonna break his neck. Let's 
take the more leisurely path. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold and colder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. What the fuck is she talking about me? Lila stepped away. She's annoyed. Oh, okay. So my choices of what I say can can actually uh, piss her off, and then she won't want to talk to me. Okay, so we are here, and we want to go north, up along here. So we head along this cache 302 up there. Okay. North it is. Seems pretty simple. Mm -hmm. So we're heading off the beaten path a bit. I'm gonna go north, so I think we're just following this around. Kind of. Ah, uh, it twists and turns a bit, I'm sure. Oh, shit, okay. See the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Cool. So we found that. Put the compass away because we've got that to guide us. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Hmm, ah, there's a little shack or something up there. Let's have a little look where we are. Bear tooth point. Uh, it's up to the north, alright. So we kind of got two forks. We can go around this a little bit. I want to have a look at this little old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. It means that I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the 
comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Well, what ifs? Just keep following this wire then. Oh, wait, something popped up. Oops. But. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Ooh, yellow box, I'm guessing that's the cache we saw on the map. Man, I can hear stuff moving in the bushes. Huh? Let's go have a look at this little cache and see what we can get here. Alright, as with all the other ones, it's one, two, three, four. Or it should be. If it's not, then I'm like all our ideas. Oh, some more information for our map. Let's see what the note says before we report it, Dave. Hey, oh, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon. Helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway with co-workers, you know. Amigos. Professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. And who are these guys Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. Alright, so there was like nothing useful in there at all. Oh, I guess that's bad to the point up there. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Alright, so uh, let's get up there and inspect the damage up close. Oh, God. Too quiet out here. Are you kidding me? Fucking beer cans. Some dickhead's done this on purpose, I bet. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? The hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Someone's just asking for an ass whooping. So the beer can here. Bet you an achievement or something for clearing up all these cans. Hey, so 
so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they... <laughs> it's a spooky know, ghost. Uh, Damn it. Pesky kids leaving beer cans all over my lawn. Cutting my phone wires and other stuff. Let's look at this fucking map. God. Uh, 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 uh. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Oh, we're gonna have to go back there. I don't know if we'd. I feel like going back the way we came would be kind of stupid, so let's go around the side of this uh, bear tooth mountain and. Uh, fucking lost. Doop a doop do doop doop do Oh, this is a little path here. Oh and beer cans, we're hot on the trail. Beer cans. It's okay. The world's worst rent a cop is on the job. Let's what's here if I go through this little bit. Do 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 Oh, okay. I can't do anything there. It's fucking block trails, I need like an axe or something. Be pretty good for uh killing teenagers as well.
Should we go to this, uh, let's go look for this supply drop. I mean, the game seems a bit linear, so if we're not meant to go there, it might just, uh, block us somehow. Well, hopefully this is, uh, one, two, three, four, again. Nothing. Oh my god, why did I bother coming here? Jonesy Lake, that's where the bitches were, so let's go, uh, find him. Oh, there's a pack there. Dun, 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 dun. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always go for it for supplies. with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, they only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn in the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Anyway, yeah, Brian Goodwin. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad and Ed three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. I took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Yeah, it looks like they like they probably got murdered or something. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got another supply cache. Yes. Stuff. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit hill, Steve. It's your man Ron. Went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Copy down, update our map. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left an antler. Maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Cool. Looks like a raptor.
Alright, I'll be back in one second. I really, really, really. Alright, I'm back. I don't know what professional streamers do, because I never seem to see them, like, get up and go for a piss. So I don't know if they, uh... Do... <laughs> piss bottles? Poop socks? I have to say now, if I, if I need a shit, I just end the stream. Because then I can, uh... I like to take my time. Alright, where are we going? Uh, so we need to go south, we're trying to go back to Jonesy Lake. So, I don't know if we want to go, like, down and then through Thunder Canyon, or through Wapiti Meadow. Wap Wap Fuck it, you, you guys can read it. I think this way will take us that way. Oh! Okay, fuck, we probably can't go that way. Put a map away and never a jog. Hey, uh, Delilah? What you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? jeez, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious <laughs> yeah, those faggot biologists. What's a lichen? <laughs> Wouldn't you like it to know? Oh. Uh. Goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but that'll probably be a few days. So we can't go to Weppy D Meadow, because there's a massive fucking fence in the way. Which. Worryingly, no one seems to know why. Alright, let's, uh, let's just get jogging again. I think this is the right way. Roughly south ish. Oh, this is all very pretty. Something like that? And you're just 
bursting at the seams to talk about it. Well, she has fucking dementia and moves to a different continent, so... You really are very perceptive. I know. It's one of my many gifts, along with accents and impeccable night vision. Incredible. Why, thank you very much, Governor. Mm. Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. From this burned section of the forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Totally hear stuff moving in the uh, bushes and things. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and now to repair that wire. Flapjack. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're in a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Yeah, you fucking Flapjack. I hope I'm going the right way. I have not seen any beer cans in, like, a good while. Fuck am I? Okay, so I'm coming back to the canyon. All right. Makes about as much sense as I can think of. I know I'm getting older when I can, like, you know, when the video game protagonists you, like, relate to aren't, like, Nathan Drake and stuff. It's this fucking overweight, alcoholic, uh, loser. <laughs> So I think, um, where's that going to take us if we go, I, d uh, I don't think we want to go up there, uh, yeah that'll just take me back to like, I think we want to go down Thunder Canyon and keep heading back towards the lake.
Alright, so for anyone who hasn't been watching, we're uh, hunting down some pesky teenagers that have been setting off fireworks and leaving beer cans and shit and cutting down wires and f fucking up my watchtower. What? Maybe see what exactly. I can barely make it out, but there's a small wisp of smoke way down to the southwest. You should be able to find your way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. You think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah, I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? All right, so we're going kind of the right direction, I guess. Get back down to by the lake. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I have eyes on that. Let me see that smoke. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. Just no wonder people kill themselves out here if this is all they talk about. Alright. I'm, uh, taking a little bit of a detour, because I want to see what's in here. Cool if I could find a fucking axe or something, that would just make my day. Got another note. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Oh, those budgets. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionals is uh, Italian. So, Wapiti was that place on the map that we couldn't get to because of the, f the fence, so that's some something's happened there. Um, I might go up here, up, up north a bit, and see how far we can get towards that. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls? I mean, it's been here a long time. There's the University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. That's some uh, George Costanza level of bullshit. Like, make up a university and then, like, print your own sweatshirt to, like, solidify your lie. Alright, so there was nothing good in there, so that kind of sucked. Let's take a little jog up here and see if we hit a fence. Ah, you know what, actually, fuck it, we're just gonna just carry on with the story, because it's cool and I wanna, wanna see what's happening with this smoke plume and stuff. Oh shit, did I, I didn't copy down the map info, did I? Let's copy the information in. I 
saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, uh, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Uh. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. The goddamn park can burn down again. This is the the unruly teenagers original campsite. Um, I think we want to go up here somewhere, try and track down where they are. Oh, let's fish this map out again. Yeah, it's a little bit further up here. Should be on our right. Do, 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 do. Well, it can be really weird. Sometimes it highlights stuff like through trees. Uh, alright, yeah. Got a lot of practice at this, uh, repelling. Ready to use some gloves for a burns a new joke. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prop. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Oh, you were brave. I was drunk. It's the birthplace of modern romance. So when they remake this eventually, they'll they'll probably just say they met on Tinder or something. Oh, another supply cache. Yes. Alright, let's copy down some more information on our map. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. A thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. Just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. That Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. What, grizzlies won't kill an a hole? They don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks? <laughs> nope, that's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, oh, same. I don't think anything bad happened to those guys. Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and a shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Stream. Bingo. That's a bingo. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. Literally coming right up on it now. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now I'm trying to hunt down some vandals and I don't even know what I'm gonna do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Oh, where the fuck am I? Yeah. Alright, up, up, uh, up, 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 up that way to the east. Oh god. Alright. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Entered the teen zone. <laughs> oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at the camp. Dangerous hunks. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Fucking cunts. Can I pick them up? Oh, I probably don't want them now. Give them a sniff at least, maybe. Fuck the old case of beer. Alright. It's like, it was totally like this when I got here, officer. <laughs> Ooh, there's a note. Oh, well, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? If the girls left someone. Me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? I need to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? I didn't Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay, and I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers, they could be having a bad mushroom trip, we really don't know, but... They're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. Well, that's fucking great. So there's someone else around here. Oh, I'm fixing my broken window. Yay. 
Find boards downstairs to patch window. Let's go in here first. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Yeah, I'm like one-tenth Cherokee, white bitch. Man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. Damn. Damn. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> Good to know, Dale, yeah, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, so in this death drawer we found a 20 sided die and escape from two orcs which uh, seems to match our thing so two orcs lair is our watchtower and we got death mountain and blood river and a halfling village wonder if that's the guys uh, son, who's <laughs> like a, playing D and D by himself with his dad or something. First dad murdered both of them. Blatantly, what happened? Alrighty, I think I'm gonna end the stream here. I don't know how many days this goes on for, but uh, I've been playing for like nearly two hours now, so. Uh, I think I will stop because it's probably boring for people and I don't want to play halfway through day three and then just call it quits so this is a this is a pretty good point to stop I think um, game's really cool I will be uh, playing more of it tomorrow uh, I think it's pretty sure I think it's only like four hours so I can probably try to finish it tomorrow and uh, on stream, that should be pretty good. Uh, I'll upload this to YouTube as well. Um, I'm also going to be streaming Oxen Free sometime this week. Uh, I started that the other day. Gonna finish that off too. I'm just trying to like finish all these millions of games I buy on my Steam sales that I never actually play because I'm never here. Um, so there's some good old gems like Firewatch that I'll be working my way through. Uh, so, if you enjoyed it, please uh, check out my YouTube channel and check out the stream tomorrow when I finish Firewatch. Hopefully. Cause apparently it's only four hours long. Uh, I Maybe I suck at it. Maybe I'm close to the end and I think, I don't know. But uh, yeah, cheers for watching.